Now, Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Jacob Dickey. After some morning showers and some clouds out there, we recovered and had a pretty nice day across Central Illinois. Winds are a bit more out of the west and north here, as seen in Pontiac, the flag on top of the courthouse there downtown. And we're seeing temperatures fall just a bit here into the 50s, still low 60s in a few spots out there. Any rain showers are out of here. There was a band of some very isolated showers that came on through. That has pushed off and to the east, and so likely ahead the next three days going to look dry across central Illinois at least uh, most of that by the time we get late weekend rain will be back in the forecast more on that in just a bit in the meantime tonight though down into the 40s out there upper 40s in most spots under a clear sky those winds still will be a little bit higher not too bad I think they'll be west and northwest 5 to 15 miles an hour if not a little higher that'll get us down into the mid to upper 40s in spots out there I got 46 in Muhammad as we go into tomorrow Lots of sunshine coming for us here. The winds will be a little high. I'm not worried about that all that much. We'll get to 68 in Tolona, 69 in Bement. How about getting up to 71 in Chatham and in Athens? 69 in Pena. Stewartson gets up to 71. We'll be at 68 in Mattoon, 69 for the high on Friday in Arcola. Looking ahead to the weekend, then it won't be a total washout at all. We think the only chance for rain is going to come in on Sunday, but I can't give it an A-plus Saturday either. That's because the wind will be there. Temperatures into the 70s this time of year. We're warm and windy. It just goes hand in hand like salt and pepper as far as things go here. Notice we start seeing those winds on Friday. They're a little breezy at times some gusts 20 to 30 but by Saturday those winds turn back to the south and they pick up we'll see wind gusts Saturday into Saturday night out of the south and southwest between 30 to 40 miles an hour if not a little higher and some wind gusts still will be around 30 miles an hour moving into Sunday the other thing about Sunday is the chance for rain will start to increase by the afternoon some scattered uh, widely isolated the scattered showers will roll on in here but they should be just showers no severe weather Sunday expected we'll keep you updated on that as we go into Monday then Still just rain showers out there, but we think the chance may be there for a few rumbles of thunder as we go into Monday. That'll be good. We need more rain here. We got about one to two inches in many spots in the last event. Some spots a little more, some spots a little less, but not enough here. We've brought the abnormally dry conditions back down across the Interstate 57 corridor. We need a couple more inches here to finally kick the drought to the curb. It's still here as of that latest update that came out this morning from the U.S. Drought Monitor. Moving ahead as we go through the next seven days, then it's more than likely around an inch, the median amount. Some spots will see more. Some localized spots will see less here. We may see uh, some spots push close to two inches. That's because we've got three different rounds of rain that we'll watch here in the next uh, seven days here. So we'll start with that first round coming in Sunday afternoon into Sunday night, lingering into Monday, likely then another Another round quickly follows into Tuesday. Tuesday will be a bit of a showery day across central Illinois. And then we'll get a little dry time before more rain likely arrives. Maybe Wednesday night, but for more than likely seems to be some showers into Thursday on that forecast. Here we are for tonight. We're down to 49, mostly clear, less wind, 5 to 15 miles an hour. That's not all that bad for us here. We want you to download the WCIA3 weather app. It's a great way to stay connected with the forecast. If you have questions, want to know the hour by hour or check the radar, you can get that here. It also sends alerts for severe weather. Just a great app to have here. Uh, one way you can stay connected with uh, us with there's active weather or inclement weather in central Illinois. Here's that seven day forecast. We're seeing 60s tomorrow. It's not all that bad out there. Pretty pleasant day if you want to get a walk in. Saturday will be a great outdoors day, except for the wind. Another problem there. Those wind gusts 30 to 40 out of the south. And we'll see some wind still into Sunday. Upper 70s before showers roll on in. More than likely, the best chance for rain is going to come late Sunday night into Monday. We may mix a few thunderstorms in there. I don't think we'll have to worry about severe weather then either. We'll watch it and then seeing some rain showers lingering into Tuesday. And then we're just going to round it out with some isolated showers, I think, Wednesday into Thursday with that third system rolling on through. Spring weather here. Uh, we had a little bit of dry time in April, so we're running into May, but it seems like we're still going to try and squeeze in as many April showers as we can to get. May flowers. Hey, there it is. That's and right. it's already May. I can't, I can't get over that part of it. Yeah, but hey, the good news here, too, is the spring temperatures, when we are cooler, it's only in the 60s. So yep. that's nice to see. I like that. All right, Jacob, thanks. Let's take a look at tonight's bright spot. William says, here's Evan.